Hello YouTubers, this is Jacques Ains from JGP and I'm here to tell you about five ways in which photography with film is useless. I am here to talk about five ways in which I think Film photography and shooting film is ridiculous. And I am asking you right off the bat, okay? I want you guys right away to please defend yourselves, those film buffs, before I even start and talk about my points. I want all those film buffs out there to please defend yourselves. I want to talk about it now because I don't want people to click out of here, call me an asshole, and then just, you know, get pissed before they see the whole video. So I'm telling you right now, this video is all about getting you guys to talk about why you're filming with film. Now, I was one of the first people to defend film at the initial introduction of digital cameras. I thought they sucked. I thought the images were terrible. I did see a bit of convenience using a digital camera, but it just didn't work out. The images weren't even close to as nice as what you could get with a uh, film camera at that time. The first time I realized that digital cameras were starting to kick ass was with my Panasonic FZ20. FZ20, guys, this is an old camera. It was a five megapixel camera. It had uh, an F2.8 lens on it. It had a huge zoom range. It was a bridge camera. And it was the precursor to what we have today, the FZ1000, the FZ2500, uh, and the whole RX10 line. So uh, that was the first time I saw digital cameras starting to kick ass. After that, I also bought the Nikon D70, and that thing also kicked ass. And it was definitely the first point where I said, ooh, this is a lot more convenient, and the image quality is there for me to actually jump to digital. Bear in mind, that was a long time. I mean, I waited a long time before I made the, the jump to digital because I just liked the film look at that time, and I found that digital wasn't even coming close to matching that type of image. Um, I also had a predisposed uh, inkling to saying that uh, film photography gave you a better emotion and there was more emotion in the shot, which I think digital was really cold at that time. But yes, things have changed and that's what I want to talk to you about now. Here are the five points as to why I think film photography doesn't make any sense anymore. <music> First point is this, learning how to take shots and expressing yourself via the photographic realm is a lot easier and quicker and more efficient when you can look at a photo within one second of actually taking it. Now when you work with film, uh, you know as well as I, the film has to be processed. You only have 24 shots per roll or 36 shots per roll. But every time you take that shot, you have to wait to get back to the lab. You send it to the lab and the lab brings it back within a week. Uh, maybe there's other processes that are a lot quicker, but it takes a long time before you can actually reevaluate the shot you're doing. So reevaluation is a lot quicker with digital. The advent of the raw file format has brought a whole new realm to photography itself. Not only in the sense that you actually are less constrained by exposures and film types and ISOs in a digital camera as usual. Raw file formats gives you a degree of dynamic range the likes of with which you cannot ever have with a film camera ever. It's just impossible. You can go up five stops one side, five stops the other side and get a great shot and still express your emotion. Raw file formats is your ability to go back in time. So a lot of people are gonna say, well, you know, you gotta be a good photographer when you take the shot. I agree with that, but the fact that you can go back in time and prioritize the moment and not necessarily the technicality of the shot you took is in, it's an amazing advantage you have with digital and that you don't have with film. 
If you had a great moment, that won't come back. Raw file format allows you the ability, the leeway and the forgiveness to go back to that shot and work with it and have something that is presentable. If you screw up with your film camera, it's over. It's over. You don't have that shot. You can process, do different things to get something different, but you can't get the shot. And that's what I like about raw file format. It allows you another way of expressing yourself. Now, number three, the way files, the way photography is experienced today has changed so much from the old film days. Um, now via social media, via our tablets, our telephones and our computers, that's the way we share a photographic experience. 99% of people experience the photographic experience via a digital device. Why not work with a device that's already digital to do the shot that you want to do? So you're sticking to the same workflow. You're using a digital workflow to deliver digitally. So that makes the most sense. If you start working with film, you have to deliver on a piece of paper via print, scan afterwards, or you can actually scan the negative, and then you can show your photos. So it adds another step to something where you don't need another step in. When you're working with film, I believe that it is the equivalent of taking your digital camera, putting it on a black and white preset or a color preset and being stuck to that preset. You can't go any further. You can't do anything else than just that one preset. It's like sticking yourself in this, this little bubble that you have to stick in. And one thing that's amazing with digital is that after you take your shot, when you actually look at your shot and you're working on it on a computer screen, you can crop in and crop out and it, you can do it fast and you can say, you know what, I thought this image would be nice in black and white, but I think I might work this and blast it with a lot of color. Or I might make it monochrome or I might make it sepia. You can do all this stuff one button away, one Photoshop filter away. I have not yet seen a shot taken with a film camera that I cannot reproduce using a couple of Photoshop filters. I'm not even going to the point of saying I'm going to go out and order really expensive ones, expensive Photoshop filters or someone who's just dealt with that and try to get the perfect film look. I can literally get that look in a basic version of Photoshop, almost Photoshop elements. Therefore, again, that, that, that look that's supposed to have so much expression in it and so much uh, uh, quality in it, you can get with the digital realm. So why are you limiting yourself? Now, here is my conclusion. I think that most people that shoot with film are actually in love with the process and not necessarily the result. Uh, they like the romanticism of actually taking the film out. Uh, some of these guys process themselves. You know, I've done tons of dark, dark room work. I, I have done all that stuff. I've experienced it. It's a lot of work. But my point is this. I think I can compare a lot of film buffs to people who go out and buy uh, those Leica cameras that are exclusively black and white. They're, they're, they say there's something magical that's there uh, that you can only get with a Leica camera, that you can only get with uh, uh, film photography. And I don't believe that. I really don't believe that is true. The most important part is that result, that portfolio, those images that say something and speak your mind and communicate what you want to say through a photo. Now, uh, that is my opinion and it is my opinion and is my humble opinion, guys. All you photo buffs out there, I want to hear your defense of how these points I just made make no sense at all. Destroy me, please. Please, I want you to. I want you guys to tell me where I'm not making sense and why the film look is so much more amazing. Uh, so please leave your comments down below. 
Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for my high quality stuff. Check out Behance. If you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up at the bottom. If you want to keep in cahoots with what I do, subscribe. And don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing. Thank you.